let's look at the controller now what the controller does before scenario execution creates the scenarios sets up runtime configuration during scenario execution runs many V users simultaneously controls each V user initialization running pausing or stopping displays execution status of each V user displays messages from each V user monitors server resources after scenario execution collects and organizes performance data launches the analysis tool let's actually look at the cut in the Mercury load runner window click on the link run load the controller opens this is the new scenario pop-up window all the available scripts are highlighted here for your particular load testing you can select the various scripts I select the scripts v user underscore 1 and v user underscore 2 which are essentially the same scripts emulating the same business process also I have an option to create two types of scenarios the first manual scenario wherein I explicitly specify the number of v users and the duration of the load test and the second type of scenario would be a goal oriented let's select the manual scenario click OK this is a controller main window it has two sessions the design section and the run section the design section is used for designing the scenarios and the run section is used to monitor the scenario the two V user scripts are highlighted here I can click this drop down button and change the script as well the script path specifies the location at which the script is stored the quantity specifies the number of V users let me put it as 4 for both the scenarios the load generator specify the machine at which the V users will run click on the generators button here you can configure the various load generators in the, for the tutorial purpose, I will stick to the local host. Click cancel. Not only that, for the various scenario group, I can specify the runtime settings. Click on the runtime settings tab. I can simulate the speed for this particular group of scenarios. So, say uh, I'll select the speed of uh, 64 kpps so all the users v users approaching the system in this particular group of scenarios will be simulating a speed of 64 kbps also I can very well specify the browser so I can emulate browser Microsoft Internet Explorer version 4.0 okay the various other settings I can change for v user group 2 I select the network speed as 512 kpps so th these four users coming from group 2 would be emulating a speed of 512 kpps using the Mozilla browser click OK the details button gives me the details of the scenario groups if I click the view script view generator would be launched and I would be able to see the script now the scheduling the various default scheduling things provided here slow ramp up ramp up let's stick to the default schedule and click edit schedule here I have an option schedule by scenario or schedule by group so let's schedule the scenario in general now it's highly improbable that all the V users would be approaching the system at the same time so to make it as close as to a real life scenario a gradual ramp up is recommended in the duration tab you can specify the runtime duration let's select 5 minutes in the ramp down you can specify a gradual ramp down of the V users let's select 
five users being rammed down at 30 minutes the graph the load preview is changed accordingly click ok so these are the various settings that could be performed click start scenario the status of the scenarios in the v users is highlighted in this section the scenario status that is hits per second past transactions failed transactions are shown here there are a number of graphs that I can monitor. I just need to drag and do drop the graph in the main section. At the bottom, I can see a legend. I can add monitors as well if I want to. I can check the details of the past transactions by clicking here, or the transactions in error by clicking here. It gives me the exact details. All this data is being captured. I can I can also customize the graph settings to show me eight graphs. The test as you see is run now and these this is a result summary.